What is uh, the worst case scenario here? Oh. Um, <laughs> well, the Biden administration would tell you the worst case scenario is we get into a shooting match with the Iranian regime, right? And again, this is not the Iranian people. The Iranian people have an amazing, rich history, and, and uh, you know they've been under the thumb of the of the Ayatollahs for you know all these years. I suspect there's a number of them who would like to see a sea change in Iran, right? But I think the you know from the Biden administration's perspective, a regional conflict <laughs> that expands, right, and not just a, not just Hezbollah up north, um, really getting into it. And things are heating up up there, right? So it's getting a little testier up there with, with, uh, with Hezbollah in, in uh, Lebanon. But a, a wider conflict than that, right? And, you know, look, the, the Iranian proxies uh, in Yemen uh, have been, you know, firing their own missiles towards Israel, not with much success. But you're, you, you know, you're getting these little, you know, probes there. Iran, uh, I think, would stop short of being directly involved you know they've got enough in the way of proxy groups to probably keep this going for some time but i think the uh the goal here should be yes not a wider regional conflict but you have to be pragmatic and understand that this is all emanating from originating from the iranian regime right so if hamas is sorted out and that conflict, as it currently stands, uh, ends, and you don't get something bigger up north with Hezbollah, you still have the Iranian regime sitting here. They still have proxies, even if Hamas is degraded. It's not like that's down to zero. Um, the problem continues to exist. So the best answer, I know, you, I know you asked about the worst situation, but the best situation would be if the Saudis and other nations in that region would normalize relations with Israel. Right. Is that possible now after all this? Um, yeah, I, I think it is. I think it is. I think the Saudis realized that they were going to have to you know, back off um, for the time being. Uh, it's, it puts them in, a, in an interesting situation, but I do think that they'll look at it in the long term and think, yeah, we have to, I think we have to we have to move in that direction. Uh, who knows how long it could take. So you can be hopeful, I think, about that. Um, but, you know, I mean, until, you know, as long as the, as long as the IRGC, the Iranian regime, runs Iran, we're still going to be dealing with this problem.